Well, Teresa, sixth grand final for Sydney FC for you. How does that feel when, when you think about it? Yeah, look, I've, uh, I haven't had much time to reflect on that, but um, since you said that now, yeah, it's quite. I feel quite honoured and um, you know happy to, to be privileged enough to, to you know be playing in another grand final. And it would nice be nice to come out of it four and two rather than three and three. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, we've all worked hard this week, so um, hopefully we can you know uh, get the goods come Saturday. Have you been able to pass on any advice to some of the younger girls who? their first grand final, Taylor Ray for instance, maybe Amy Sayer? Look, it's, it's always easier said than done, but uh, it's, you know, just trying to get the message across for them to be calm this week and try to approach it um, just like any other game. I know, you know, we've heard that, you know, <laughs> a number of times, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, they're young players anyway, so this is a really, really good experience for them. And do you think that the game itself, the pressure might be off a little bit with the fact that there's no crowd in there, or do you think um, once you get over that white line, it's kind of like it's focused on the outside. Yeah, look, well, once you go into that zone, you tend not to really focus on any outside noise anyhow. But uh, I think we're certainly the, the underdogs coming into it. So, um, yeah, look, like I said, I mean, it's all about the preparation this week and the execution on, on game day. And how much will you take from the momentum that you've got from the performance against Melbourne Victory in the semi-final? Yeah, look, it was a gritty win um, and we'll take a lot from that, you know, given that second half we were quite under the pump um, and, you know, the resolve we showed as a team and the determination, um, you know, we're bringing that this week in training and, and, and into the game. And for you uh, personally, excitement or, or a little bit of uh, fear, I suppose, of, of Melbourne City, bearing in mind that they were at the top of the, the table? Yeah, look, I wouldn't say fear. Um, definitely respect there, of course. You know, they've, they've had an incredible season. But um, yeah, I've approached this quite calmly this year. It's a little bit of a different feel for me. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's maturity or or whatever. But um, yeah, and given, I guess, the events happening around, I think, you know, we, we're just... Um, you know, not trying to take it, you know, for granted and, and trying to enjoy the week, yeah. In terms of last season, obviously a great win in the final last year, do you think that that can spur you guys on and you can take anything out of that as well from the experience? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the experience itself, um, you know, we're a young team, but, you know, all those players on board that were there last year, uh, you know, that experience itself will, will help on, on the day um, to calm the nerves and, and, you know, get right into the game. Well, expect uh, to come home with the trophy, we will. Um, enjoy the rest of the That's week. That's the aim. And, uh, Thanks a lot. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Thanks.